YouTubers, TJ here. I'm, uh, I got my uh, CNC plasma cutter uh, just in the testing phase right now. And I'm running this program that comes with Command CNC. It creates a star. But I'm having problems with the Z axis way it comes down. I'll run this program I'll show you. So we're going to hit run. And then you got to hit resume to go. And then I'll show you what the torch does. Uh, everything's all zeroed out except I can't get rid of this 0.5 on my Z. I zero it out, always goes back to 0.5. So I don't, I don't know if that's a problem right there or not. So I'm gonna hit resume, and this is what the torch does. It's cutting out the uh, star right now. This again, this is a preset program from Command CNC or CNCNC.com. This is a PPLC table kit. It's an older style kit with the rails. Notice my torch is not even close to the to the slats. I tried zero on that out, and it always goes back to that same spot. And now it stops here on this code M. I don't know, it waits for a, a input from the user, I guess, to do the circle. So I'll go resume. And there, that's a circle. But it has a jerkiness right there, and notice the torch is, torch is low again, and then it parks. Uh, so if you have any um, ideas, let me know. Um, I do have the DH Digital Torch High Controller 4. Here's how it's wired up. I wired up to the book of Command CNC. I have the so-called float switch right here. It's kind of dark. Uh, wired to the, the feather touch sensor. Again, it's not hitting the ground, so maybe that's why it's not stopping where it's supposed to stop. I have no idea. I'm afraid to actually uh, fire up the uh, torch and the plasma cutter to try this thing. So... Uh, if you have any, uh, you know, comments or whatever, please give me a comment. Um, I'm kind of lost here. I really don't know what I'm doing just yet. Uh, hopefully I'll figure it out. Just last week I had blue screen of death, so I got pretty far compared to where I am now. Um, just please comment and just give me, help me out. Thank you.